Hey guys, Cam for 15 back out with another video for you guys, and I'm back with another video. Uh, video. Um, and I'm talking one of the newer spring of animes, um, 2023 that came out now. My weekend was jam packed because if you didn't know, well, actually I didn't say it on this channel, but um, if you didn't know, um, WWE was having WrestleMania this past weekend. So I attended WrestleMania night one and two with my dad, um, and that was a fun experience within itself. Um, so <laughs> I never got a chance to really do what I needed to do. And then on top of the work, I have to go do, obviously I don't have no time. I barely have time in my schedule to get videos up. So here I am literally like super late at night, but this video will probably be uploaded like super late at night but whatever you guys will see it and that will be kind of the thing there and i just want to get that vi this video up as fast as i can but um i just wanted to talk about um one of the newer animes of spring of 2023 um my um my what was it what is it called um my home hero um the first episode man it left me shocked with where this is going to go um, now, if you checked out my spring, what I will watch slash review, this was definitely one of the animes on my list that I would be, that I was like, okay, I might check out and I might want to see this and review it on the channel because this looks really damn interesting. And this first episode was interesting. Now, the one thing I've seen in the two reviews I've watched of this show is the fact that people um, said, like, it doesn't look the best animated but again i'm not mostly of a person that critiques animation um it looks good and like to me it looked good to me the animation looked fine to me um i don't really nitpick about animation i don't really look too much into the animation and things like that yeah i want my stuff looking good um in my animes but i'm not gonna be like oh that's really bad unless it's like freaking it looks awful like animation like we're talking like if i was reviewing early stage dragon ball super then uh <laughs> you'd be freaking having me complain about the animation issues. Um, but nevertheless, um, my home hero, what is the premise? What is this about? Practically, um, it seems like just based on the first episode, this dad by the name of, uh, which, um, hold on, hold on. Let me pull it up. Um, Tosu, uh, Tetsuo, but I'm going to call him Tosu. Um, he pretty much, you know, is just a regular common day businessman. He ends up, like, I guess, scheduling this meetup with his uh, daughter named Reika. Um, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, now when I was first watching this, I'm thinking, oh, his daughter might be some popular girl or might be some celebrity. This might be like, maybe at first I didn't know this was like his daughter. Like, I thought it was like, oh... Um, this might be like a friend of his that he's known that is like super popular. Maybe she's like an idol or something. Um, but, or maybe it's just an idol in general and she was just stopping by and saying hi and everything. But no, we find out like, oh, this is his daughter. I'm like, oh, is his daughter like some sort of superstar, like freaking person that's making them the money? And no, she's kind of just a regular girl. Um, and pretty much looks like I guess she's like in college or something like that and the moment she takes off like her mask and her sunglasses we see like these bruises on her and everything and then we pretty much find out like she's been getting beat up by her own boyfriend which I'm like oh okay okay um which was interesting just from the standpoint I'm like okay where's the story gonna go and then I'm like okay you probably have an abusive boyfriend right then and there but then you find out like this guy is like is literally like linked to like mobs bosses and things like that in yakuza um and you know it's like things go from crazy to worse and the boy my boy tosu he ends up getting into some trouble because he ends up getting captured by um, following the group that was practically following her boyfriend's group or her, his daughter's boyfriend's group pretty much gets blackmailed and gets taken pictures of and pretty much is told like, hey, if you ever have an idea by the cops, well, please, it's gonna be over for you and your family. 
Um, so obviously this man, obviously we have it to where this guy kind of is in a corner where he has to do it all by himself. And, you know, he ends up going over to Reika's house. And next thing you know, you get this really tense scene where the boyfriend ends up coming back. And then you get these hair harrowing information, this, I guess, harrowing information that like, this isn't like, Reika isn't like the first girl. He's like, I guess you could say dated or something like that. And he's kind of like throwing these sorts of late and saying like, oh yeah, when I'm finished with her, it's going to be game over and things like that. So it's like kind of implied like this guy's going to probably like kick Rick into the curb, maybe kill her, do something or like, you know, I think he made a mention like he's going to like put her in the hospital or something like he's going to hurt her so bad like she's in the hospital, which is, it shows you what happened to this guy eventually, you know, he definitely deserved it. Um, but I did like the moment where the guy, where like it got super tense where he accidentally dropped his phone, but then obviously at the right time, like the dude got his, got a phone call. And then, you know, the thing is he ended up calling the guy, um, right, you know, and <laughs> he ended up telling him pretty much to his face. He's like, oh no, no, you, I'm going to kick your ass and you're going to, you're going to pay for, uh trying to harm my daughter and I'm coming for your ass and the guy's like oh really really where are you right now and then lo and behold um he goes out he attacks this guy and you know hey listen if I was in this situation I'd do the same exact thing I don't care you know you can call me a coward the number one thing I would always tell somebody if you're fighting up against a dude especially if you have no chance up against and you need a legit chance I just say this kick him in the balls punch him in the balls do something that get in their freaking hurt their nutsack where it stuns them a bit. And then you might have a chance. And this man, see, he would have did if somebody tried to like rob my own house over here. I would have freaking, if the guy had no weapons on him, I would have kicked the dude in the balls, ran over somewhere, found the nearest known something to, we you know, something that can be deemed as a weapon, attack this person and finish this person off. And now I wouldn't kill him. I just freaking... Um, try to make him get knocked out so I, so then guess what I can call the cops me like uh this guy tried to rob my house but um <laughs> nevertheless this guy freaking finds like this this rice cooker thing starts beating the this dude's head in to the point he's dead and everything next thing you know you get the scene where the wife comes in Reka's mother and I was like oh the mom's gonna be like what the hell did you just do to her boyfriend and then but then the mom was actually surprisingly chill for the most part, which she's like, listen, I don't blame you. You know, you're probably doing this out of self-defense. Um, and it seems like this guy wasn't treating Reka right anyway. So I'm like, I don't know what the mom's about or everything, but um, the mom's definitely in support of, uh, you know, keeping her daughter safe. And that's kind of the thing about your, you know, about parents. It don't matter. If you're in some deep shit, sometimes your parents will, you know, at the end of the day, they really truly do love you. They will risk their lives to save you. Now, obviously, it depends on what situation you're in. Um, you know, if you're like kind of a hostage in this situation, yeah. But if you're like openly doing the bad things, then I don't think your parents would help you. They just try to t put you on the right path. But, you know, I found that very interesting that the wife was like, okay, cool. Let's uh, protect our daughter, Reka. They hide the body for the most part. And pretty much we see in this episode, they try to hide it away from Reika because, Re you know, Reika pretty much has a breakdown, emotional moment with her mom, which she kind of feel bad. Like, you know, she doesn't deserve any of the, this beating she gets. Like, she seems like a genuinely nice, really cute girl. And the, what's pretty much happening to her was messed up to the point that, uh, sadly, the guy from killing this dude you know, who was connected to, like, some major boss in this organization, um, practically, um, he's gonna have to take on this entire Yakuza all alone without pretty much the aid of the police, because remember, he's pretty much being blackmailed, and if the police, uh, you know, if he tells the police, well, then they will know, and then, boom, he'll be, you know, who's to say they'll kill his daughter and his wife? Because to, because when you think about these boss the, these mob bosses, trust me, they will get the information on you. They will have spies on you, probably trained twenty four seven, and you won't even send. Like for example, I haven't finished watching Buddy Daddies, but I um you know I'm only like I think two more episodes from the end of Buddy Daddies because I'm watching the English dub. 
Um, and I saw the part where they were obviously taking pictures of uh, Ray and the other two characters in that. And that's just because they well the uh, the mob boss, one of the main characters, um, is their dad, and he's making sure like, no, I'm gonna make sure you ha I have eyes on you. So, dude's all on his own, and you know you get off with the cliffhanger where obviously one of their members is looking for obviously the dude's body, and he finds the body, the dead body. So we'll see where it's gonna go from there. Um, but overall, My Home Hero seems like a very interesting show. <laughs> Very dark show, very interesting show of how far this, really, this regular dude is going to go to try to protect his daughter. Like, the fact that this guy's going to have to go up against pretty much the entire Yakuza, this entire Yakuza group now, it, it's crazy. And the fact is, he's just a regular dude. Now, again, in some cases, can you find it unbelievable that a regular dude might potentially take down an entire Yakuza, you know, whole thing by himself? Yeah, but... I guess I'm only going to see for, for what's going to happen next, but I can definitely tell this show has is going to have a lot of suspenseful moments where maybe this guy gets himself into trouble and somehow he finds a way to get out of it, or two, maybe he, you know, somehow overcomes it, but this is a show where you hope he overcomes everything to keep his daughter safe, and you hope at the end of this thing you don't get a tragic ending to where maybe even though he saves his daughter, he ends up freaking like dying at the end, which... I definitely could feel like that more than likely could happen. Um, I feel like he would be the type of dad that would be willing to lay his life on the line if he knows that his daughter's going to be safe at the end of the day. But overall, uh, my thoughts on my home hero, again, it's like I said in my uh, what I will watch slash review, like I'm definitely hyped to see where this is going to go. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's my thoughts on my home my home hero. If you're wondering about my Heavenly Delusions episode review, um, when that eventually comes out on Hulu, which I think is this upcoming week, I will talk about it and I'll give my thoughts about um, that show um, and things like that. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get out for you guys. If you, get, like, if you guys like the video, leave a like, put in the comment section your thoughts on my home hero, as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more of my home hero content or any other anime content I upload to the channel. Till then, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.